Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video we'll be taking a look at whether Blood Will Tell Dororo is playable with BCSX2 within RetroArch. God, it's so nice having the games on a playlist. Yeah, it's just so nice. Like, granted you don't get to see the car I use, but in my defense, on the right hand side it does actually state what the car is, so... There is that. It's just, you know, so much quicker. It's crazy. It would have been editing the videos, I've seen the gap between, um, like, when I do my intro or when I, the game actually boots, and how the gap is just getting smaller and smaller, it's great. But yeah, I should have made the playlist to begin with, I just never thought about it, because I was like, H how, I don't know, how useful would this actually be? I think I just talked myself out of doing it. But here we go, Blood Will Tell, it's actually just called Blood Will Tell over here. I believe in Japan it was called Dororo, but its full title, because of course it has a long-winded one, it's Blood Will Tell Tezuka Osamu's Dororo. <laughs> and I think Tezuka Osamu is the creator of Dororo, because it's based off of, a, off of a manga, slash anime, or both. Alright, we have to choose our options. We have the story mode, encyclopedia, and all the different themes. So play as Hyakimaru and recover his 48 body parts. Ooh. Now this game is an interesting beast, because it works. But uh, Hyakimaru has seen better days, which you will soon see. It's all horrifying. <laughs> the practice control in Hyakimaru by following Jukai's commands. Sure. Hyakimaru. Hyakimaru. Yeah, look at him. Not with the directional button. His legs aren't even connected. Uh, his hair's not connected. Although if you look like this, it kind of looks like it's connected. Not the directional buttons. Never. Good. Well done, Hyakimaru. Hyakimaru. Okay. Move with the left analog stick while holding down the L1 button. <laughs> He's such a mess. This will allow you to strafe from side to side. I mean, it will just be playable with issues. Exposing your back to your enemy. Assuming there's no drastic frame drops. Press the L1 button to center the camera in the direction you are facing. <laughs> yeah, it's very busted. Kind of comical, though. We'll admit. Jump well, look at it. X button. Look at Hyakimaru. Yes. Very good, Hyakimaru. Oh, right, you can actually see his arms. The X button one more time while in mid -jump. Well done. That was a double jump. Double jump. That creates quite a lot of light. Yeah, even the enemies are screwed up. I mean, look at them. Ooh, yeah, I forgot the combat in this game is pretty badass. It's just a shame that all the enemies are screwed. Now, I will show you a very special technique. Press Oh, here we go. Sword flashes. Let go of the triangle. I did it. Attack the enemy using that technique. Press and oh. When your sword flashes, I didn't realize I wasn't close enough. Of the triangle button. Attack the enemy using that technique. Got it. Then press the buttons as they appear on the screen. There's a lot of circles. Ba 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 ba. Ah, oh, I screwed up. Crap. Yakimaru. When your sword God, does it have to tell me every time? Let go of the triangle button. Attack I'm just gonna put it down to the fact I'm using an Xbox controller, and you know the the face buttons are completely different. As they appear on the screen. Oh, the game's taking pity on me. Health has been depleted. Press the triangle button. Ooh, how jacked up that looks! Very well done, Yakimaru. <laughs> Very well done, you massive bones and flesh. As you can, you may be rewarded. Ooh. Look, your attacks have caused your spirit gauge to fill up. See the blue gauge blinking in the upper left corner. I do. Now, press the square button and the triangle button simultaneously. Whoa. Oh, damn. Holy crap. Excellent. You have successfully performed a spirit attack. That was pretty sick. You will be able to learn more spirit attacks by finding spirit scrolls. Press the L2 button. See how the <gasps> weapon yes. in your hand changed? Nope. <laughs> attacking with that sword. I can't see anything. Excellent swordsmanship. All oh, right, I'm using okay. Other kinds of swords. Be sure to try each one at least once. 
I like fling off my arms or something. I will explain how to use the weapon I built into your body. First, your right arm. While using your sword arm, press the arm. Ah, there we go. I call it the repeater arm cannon. This weapon can be used when you have your sword arms drawn. It is very effective, but there is limited ammo, so use it wisely. <laughs> Now your left leg. Press once you select. Now your left. Oh, it's a cannon. You select your target using the cursor. Press the triangle. Quite powerful. <whistles> hey, hey, Akimaru. I call it the guided leg cannon. Holy crap! Yeah, I forgot about that. Powerful, but uses special ammo. Use it sparingly. I'm just trying to figure out how the hell his body's made up. Those swords in your arms. Mm-hmm. As you defeat demons with them the swords will increase in level be sure to use them often yakimaru for they will serve you well all right yakimaru your journey begins here steal your will be strong be strong defeat the 48 fiends and return here alive i await you yakimaru cool prologue yakimaru i think we get the tongue first Oh god, everything's broken. Oh no. God, look at the birds. <laughs> oh god, it's awful. In a hilarious kind of way, but my god, it's creepy. Continue forward. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's just so stupid. There's actually quite a lot of enemies. Oh, I was hoping I could get him. I can't hit them with my... My guns. Ooh, there we go, yeah, there, there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we are. Nice. It's really hard to tell where the hell they are, to be honest. Well, just because their character model is so buggered, it's very difficult to just know. Well, we got rid of the bird. Nice. I don't know if I actually have to kill everything or not. I don't think I do. Oh yeah, whoops. Didn't mean to do that yet. Hmm. Now, I might just be able to get straight to the boss. Maybe. Bye bye. Yeah, there we go. I just want to get into a fight with a boss because I'm curious if their model is going to be completely screwed as well. Pretty sure there's a boss. Oh, it's a save point. I was wondering what the hell that thing was supposed to be. It's very hard to see what is happening. Is that Yakimaru? I have no idea. Maybe. I just don't know how the hell stuff like this happens. Annihilation. Oh. Ooh, nice. Wait, I've already killed... I was going to say, I should have killed more than two. I didn't mean to do that. Sure, switch to the sword. It might be better. Ooh, there we go. Ah, oh, I timed out. Darn. Wait, where's the other one? There it is. They have been annihilated. Maybe they're in a boss. Oh no. Seems like they might be. But maybe not. No, they're in. Oh, well, there you go. So there we go. I think that'll do for <laughs> end of the test. As you can probably guess, the game's perfect. It <laughs> just Hyakimaru's just had a bad day. Nah, it's definitely playable, but with serious issues, because all of the character models are buggered. They're just... an amoeba of many limbs. Very weird. I can't tell where... what is supposed to be what. Especially when you run, like, why does he have, like, four legs? So weird. But yeah, I would have to say that Blood Will Tell Dororo is playable with issues. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.